Okay, so I've taken the power supply and I've attached some wires to the ends of all these yellow and black wires. Um, I've also put on some heat tubing so that it's more safe. Okay, so once I fixed the power, I attached it to um, this and I mean, it still didn't work. I was really confused, but then I looked at looked over the program and I realized there was one more one small problem to do with how I stored the values in the buffer. I fixed that program and it works perfectly. Okay, so to show the capabilities of the plotter, I'm going to draw the word 3D. Okay. Now let's draw it. So that's the three. Now for the D. Okay, so part of it went out, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. So there we have the word 3D. I'm going to turn this off before I burn the resistors. So I got the ramps board out of this packaging, and as you can see, I've already attached the stepper board drivers. I've attached one of the CD drives to this, and I've also attached the other CD drive. I've also attached the fan just to show that the ramps can do that. So if I turn it on, you'll see the two things work. So I've detached the CD drives from this frame. And that, that was an accident. So I've detached the CD drives from the frame so that I could experiment with how they worked with the ramps board. Um, I used to have the third CD drive, but then unfortunately it broke. You can, um, you can see the terminals, they broke off and basically rendering this useless. So I'm gonna need to get another CD drive. Um, so I went to tip today again and I got this, it's a pretty giant desktop computer, and if you look here, you can see they actually have two C drives, so I'm going to open this up and see if I can replace the broken one with one of these. Okay. So here are the two C drives and the floppy drive. What I'm going to do now is extract the internal mechanism by unscrewing the casing. drives that I extracted and the floppy drive. So the C drives are pretty good, they're both stepper motor driven ones. Okay, here is the floppy drive. I discovered this is incredibly useless because if you look here the thread is phenomenally small. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be using that. Okay, so here is the new C drive. Um, I've wired it up as you can see, and I've put it to the Y stepper motor driver. I've also replaced one of the cables with this cool new one, which I found in the computer. It has an actual slot for easy um, detachment and reattachment. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on, and you'll see the fan and all the free CD drives will move. works quite nicely so the next step is just to build the frame it's actually quite a big step because if I make a mistake on the frame that's permanent so I really don't want to make a mistake mm -hmm. 